Greetings fellow Dragon Staffers. Thank you for joining me for another Dragon Staff tutorial. Today we're going to be learning horizontal stalls. Just have to say before getting started, if you are watching this on Patreon, thank you so much. And like with many of my tutorials, we're just going to cover one side for the sake of saving time and keeping things simple. So that will be stalling the dragon staff on the left hand. So we're going to come into the stall from this trick here. Definitely a beginner level trick, this one essentially just letting the staff roll on the tops of the hands and the staff is going clockwise in front of me keeping the contact point basically at the center just so you can see that it is going clockwise I'll turn around and if we're doing this trick with the staff going clockwise in front of us the staff should be rolling towards us on the right hand, away from us on the top of the left hand. And you'll want to get very comfortable with this, and once you are, we'll move on to the stall. If you get going in this trick and it starts to move too fast, you're losing control of the staff, you can raise your hands to look, or slow down the speed of the staff. So to get into the horizontal stall, at some point when the staff is rolling towards us on the top of the right hand, we're going to sneak the top of the left hand about six inches away from the center point. So instead of catching the center point on the top of the left hand, we'll catch it about six inches away from the center. And as we do that, we'll move the hand off to our left. Show that facing the same direction as you, going clockwise in front of us, and then instead of letting that center point come on to the top of the left hand, we're going to bring about six inches from the center point on the top of the left hand as we swing that arm out to our left. And when you bring the left hand out to the side, stalling the staff on it, it'll be rolling away from you on the top of the left hand. And then to catch the staff, you'll bring the left hand back towards the center line. Let the staff kind of do a pendulum. The far end will swing in, back in front of you, and you can slide the right hand underneath. When the staff comes back, it will be rolling towards you. So you'll want to go into a trick with the staff rolling towards you, a reverse chi roll, Superman, something of that sort. So to briefly summarize, center point rolling on the top of the hands. At some point, instead of catching the center point on top of the left hand, we'll catch about six inches from the center point on top of the left hand on our right side of the staff and then we'll shift the left arm out to the side doing the stall on top of the left hand then we'll swing the arm back towards the midline let the staff flip so that it's rolling towards us the difficult part for me in this trick is Bringing the staff back towards the center line really helps to have a nice fresh grip or a quality grip for that. And usually it's because when you swing it back towards the midline, there we go, there's that moment where the staff rolls up the top of the hand and kind of onto the underneath of the hand, the palm thumb area, as you swing it back in front of you. See if I can demonstrate that. You see there, as I swung it up, it came to the inner hand, 
thumb side of the inner hand. Another thing that can help on that part, bringing the staff back in front of you, is when you bring the left hand out to the left, you swing it back towards the midline, then it kind of helps to bring it slightly back to the left after you have it at the midline, like so. See that swinging motion kind of helps the staff to pendulum and then come on to the left hand, top of both hands really. And that is going to do it for the horizontal stall. I hope this was helpful to you all. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments, and I will see you all very soon in the next video. Thank you for watching.